Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious. This is a game I can quite um, easily say I never thought I'd be doing, but recently I had an urge to play this game, and so I'm going to record it because it's actually a really fun game. So, <laughs> here goes. Press Enter to begin after I make the action. There we go. Window disappear. Enter. Alright, let us uh, start a new game. Welcome to Sherry Soda Tower. This historical building was once home to the luxur luxurious Cook Serve Delicious restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled this tower to capacity, and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the Cook Serve Delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. You'll need to take this now zero star cafe and turn it into a 5 star world class restaurant. So first we'll learn the basics very quickly, but before we do that we need to see how much you're willing to handle. Oh, I actually realise this. Okay. Standard difficulty is the norm for cooks are delicious which can prove to be very difficult for many users, but over time you'll gain a great understanding in cooking food perfectly, serving many customers as you progress through the career. Uh, building your perfect menu and winning various special events. Perhaps one day your skills will rise to the level of, level of Iron Cook. It all starts here. We have Extreme. No matter what level your, what your skill level might be, do not choose this. Ooh! Oh god, a 50% buzz. That means you always have... somebody. Oh, the tables and munchies! Oh no! Super rush hour. Oh, there's only Standard or Extreme. Well, Standard then. Oh, it actually says up there. Oh, the extreme is like the nasty face. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, this game. I love it. Get used to seeing this, and I will be doing this game all the way up to five stars. It's gonna take a while, but screw it. It's, it's a fun game, so I don't really mind. Either way, this is your main restaurant serving area. It doesn't look the best, but hey. You'll fix it up in no time. You can press the right... Oh, press the bottom right pause button or hit escape to pause the game at any time during the day. I'll click here to continue. To the left is your prep stations. You'll start with four, but will earn more as you gain stars for your restaurant. You can take orders and serve food from here, so let's give it a try. This is a customer ticket. Press the number on your keyboard, in this case one, to start the order. You now have the corn dog order in front of you. The right menu shows which keys to press for what ingredients, and the bottom ticket is how customers, how the customer wants the food made. Once you're done with the order, press enter to serve it to the customer. Ketchup and mustard. Okay, so that's KM. You can play this game with the controller, but I am, like, not really against doing that, but it's something I'm not gonna do, because this game would be a bit... I, I've tried playing with a controller, and I just do not like it. So it's not something I'm gonna do. <laughs> Great job, there are three different... Uh, types of satisfaction levels. Perfect orders, no mistakes, customer is happy and will come back. Ooh, pardon me. Average orders, customer isn't happy, mistakes were made, might not come back, and bad, or bad orders, customer is angry, doesn't pay, lots of mistakes made, won't come back. Strive for those perfect orders. Click here to continue. You can also use your mouse to complete orders. Try using the mouse for this order by clicking the customer order ticket. I've also tried doing this and it's terrible. Now try clicking the red keys on the instruction menu on the right to place the ingredients, then click the red enter button to serve. The red dog. Okay, there you go, sir. Enjoy. Great job, you just learned how to serve a customer. Now let's try a more complex food that requires you to cook before serving. You can now use the mouse and or keyboard for remaining foods. Sweet. The beggar requires you to cook the meat before preparing the food. Click or use the keyboard to call the order. Call up the order to begin. Okay, you want one meat patty. Sure thing. The burger is now cooking. You'll need to wait a few seconds for the meat to grill at the right temperature before serving. Once the order turns blue, it's ready to be prepped. Select the order too soon or too late, and your customer will have raw burned meat, and will likely have a bad rating. Oh right, it's stuck in like limbo. The burger is ready for additional prepping. Click, or, click it or press 1 on your keyboard now to finish the order. Boom. Complete the order and then press or click the enter button to serve the burger to the customer. Okay, so she wants the original. So she wants MLBCT. Oh, she wants everything. MLBCT. Boom. I don't actually know if you can screw up the order. Like, if you did, like, MBCT and missed out the L, 
whether that would work, I'm not entirely sure. Great work, you have just completed a more advanced order. You can always set different keys for different ingredients in the key bindings menu if you don't like the default controls. I don't really mind. I can't just press enter, are you serious? There are two types of order that you'll find in Cook Serve Delicious. When an order is highlighted blue after cooking, it will require additional prep work. When an order is highlighted yellow, it requires no more prep work and is ready to be served to the customer. Simply select it to serve immediately. So there's raw, cooked, prep, cooked, serve, and burnt. So, needs more time to cook. Food is fully cooked and ready for additional prep. Food is fully cooked and ready to be served immediately to the customer. You did not prep or serve this food in time. It will likely be a bad order. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you can only prepare one order at a time, however. You can serve yellow cooked serve orders to customers immediately, even when preparing a different order. Simply press the number slash click the order to serve at any time. Yeah, that is a very useful feature. Customers won't wait around forever to have their food order taken. You'll notice that this food is slowly disappearing from the screen. If it goes away completely, the customer will leave angrily and will cause bad buzz for your restaurant. There are ways of extending customer patience via the equipment menu, which will be unlocked later in the game. Such as, like, munchies or something like that. There are also chores to contend with, but that's enough tutorials for now. You can always select practice chores in the tutorials menu to try out all of the chores you'll need to complete daily. That's like, um, cleaning out the toilet, throwing out the trash, Cleaning dishes, setting mouse traps, and I think that's it actually. Uh, yeah, I think that is it actually. And with that, you've just learned the basics of cooking and serving. Great job! Now let's dive into the managing part of Cook Serve Delicious, which is vital in ensuring customers are always flowing into your restaurant. Hooray! Oh god, now we have this. Oh yeah, we start with seven and a half grand. Sweet. This is your main managing menu. Uh, from here, you can control your food menu, buy new items, and a whole lot more. You'll work from 9am to 10pm at the restaurant, then between each day you'll come back to this menu to plan out your business. Oh, next page. First, we'll need to buy some food to put on our menu. Uh, you have a starting budget that should allow you to purchase 3 or five, three to 5 foods out of the initial 20 that's offered. You can do that via the buy slash, uh, view slash buy foods menu. You'll notice a few foods require a piece of equipment before you can buy them. You can go to the equipment menu to purchase a stove, grill, or deep fryer to expand the selection of foods you can buy. The equipment menu will be expanded even more once you've completed the first day. On the left of any food are a series of boosters and detractors. These are elements of food that can help or hurt your business by bringing in more customers during the day, or run them off entirely. Your potential daily intake of customers increase is displayed as a percentage called buzz, uh, from the lowest at 0% to the absolute max at 100%. Oh wow, that's a lot of buzz. Jesus. Alright. Um, buzz is vital in keeping customers. The higher your buzz, the faster customers come through the door during the day. Perfect orders gain buzz for the next workday. Average orders add no buzz, and bad orders subtract from your buzz. You can see all of this in action in your daily buzz menu. Once you've bought foods, you'll need to add them to the active menu. The active menu is a menu board where your customers will be able to order from during the day. You can serve up to six different foods per day. You must plan out your menu each day to balance out which foods gain the most buzz and which combinations work best. Some foods, boosters and detractors, only allow you to serve them for two straight days before causing bad buzz as customers always crave new items. Some foods stay fresh forever, like salads. There, that's what the staple means, it's a staple food. Uh, and those are the basics of Cook Serve Delicious. Um, once the opportunities open up, you'll get some helpful emails, so go visit your main menu to check out and check out your email client. Buy some food and equipment and get prepped for your first big day. Good luck! Holy hell, that was one a, a lot of reading. So we have good luck on your opening day. Okay, I just wanted to congratulate you on your opening day. It always feels so overwhelming, doesn't it? Um, I know that you have the chops to run a successful business and hopefully our paths will cross some time in the future. Drop by the Iron, St Iron Chef studio sometime and I can get you some audience tickets. Good luck, Chef Risotto. 11 star Iron Chef. Oh god, welcome to the Sherry Studio. Uh, email client. This is a quick guide, oh Jesus, to using the service. The icon on the left on the main menu is new mail on top, which lets you glance at all the new mail. Red mail, <clears throat> all mail opened is automatically sent to this folder, and favorites. You can save up to 15 emails by clicking on the heart, or clicking the heart on the left. 
Click any of the email icons to move around the client. There are several different colors of email which hit my importance. You have yellow emails, very important information, green emails, opportunities and special events, and white emails from other ST Tower or SS Tower uh, users, some of which can be filtered by buying the spam filter in the equipment menu. Thank you. Well, thanks for using Sherry Soda Tower email. And then we have patch notes, which don't even matter. Whoa! Added some improvements. Steam controller and your stock 3 mapping. Whoa! <laughs> and then we have an advertisement for Cook Serve Delicious Do. Of course, of course, of course. Right, let's have a look at some foods now, shall we? Wait, oh wait, the ones that have got a little a little thing next to them means I don't have the equipment necessary. Yeah, I need a fryer, which I don't have. Customers never tip with this food. Ooh. I don't know what they're called anyway. Sopa beers? So, 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 I don't know. That's a staple food. It's a grand as well. That's a grand as well. Ooh. Salad is a grand. Alright, so that's three. So, that's three fifth. I can fucking... Hmm. I'd, in all fairness, I'd like to buy as many staple foods as possible. This is not staple. Oh, menu rot. That's what that means. Right, okay. The fish is also menu rot. This one's really bad for detractors. Although it is... Attract certain VIPs. Oh, uh, once at the four star level. Oh! A healthy food. A higher chance of leaving a big tip. Ooh. Either way, okay. The, the, the ones I'm definitely getting are beer because people love to drink booze. Wait, what? Oh no! Generally found upon. Oh well. Purchase. Yes. No, people love booze. I don't know why. Like when they come in at half past nine on the morning, the first thing they order? Booze. It's weird. And we'll buy a uh, salad because that's probably my favorite food to make because it's one of the easiest. <laughs> um, Lasagna is probably one of the hardest foods to make. Ice cream. Sure. Even though this is like, they never tip. Uh, snack food. It's not ordered during rush hour. Does not apply on extreme difficulty. And creates plates to be washed. Fun. Right, we want the sodas, obviously. Um, if I go to equipment, that's specialty foods. Oh yeah, we have like coffees and stuff. Oh my god, I forgot about all these. Breakfast buns. Oh my god. They're key bindings. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Oh no, it's equipment. That's whoops. That's what I'm after. Here we go. What could I buy? Um, fun menus. Uh, they're not. None of these are available yet. So I have to go through an all, a whole day without any. Yeah, tip jar, table snacks. I might actually keep a bit of money. Like, don't spend all of it. I can't upgrade foods until after the first day. I may as well buy these. Yeah, pretzels and psh, screws and stuff. How bad is my buzz gonna be? Oh my. Okay, that'll do. Boom. We have one and a half thousand. Sweet. Active menu. Oh, I can only have four foods. Okay. Well, there we go. All of them are gonna be staples. Ding! Oh no, my buzz went down. Like, pretty badly. That goes up to 35. <sighs> Ooh. Wait, does it go up any more if I don't have? No, that goes down to 25. 20. That gives me 35, which could be quite good. Okay, new day! Right, so the game's actually beginning. Let's get into it, shall we? Yes! <laughs> uh, good morning, sir! Kids delight. Okay, this is easy. Ranch and cheese. Enjoy. This is going to be a weird game to commentate over to. <laughs> because I'm running a restaurant, so it's just like, Yes, yeah, good morning! Uh, fill it the fish, then season and cook. Boom, boom, boom. Booshy, boosh. The fish is actually really easy to do. It's probably one of my favourite ones, because it's so easy to do. However, I have fucked it up and forgot to cut off the tail and stuff before. Which is not so good. <laughs> As you can imagine, just serving them a fish with a still attached tail. Mm. Really? The toilet needs doing already? I have seasoned it. Okay, good. Boom, boom, bada boom. The toilet's probably one of the easiest ones to do. Ranch greens. Very nice. If I can get as many perfect, perfect, perfect days as possible, then that'll be great. Although, the fish is actually causing a bad buzz for the morning because of how it's like it stinks. But when it gets to like midday, which is going to be in rush, uh, rush hour, which is in 10 minutes, it'll be fine, I think. A large tea with ice. Here we go, rush hour. Grand. 
Cheese greens. Oh god. Ranch, cheese, bacons. Bacons. Oh my god. That will be happening quite a bit. I'll just be saying what I'm putting on it, because otherwise I'll fuck it up. Which I don't want to happen. Hmm. A very, very dry salad. Each to their own, I suppose. Season. Oh crap, the trash. Heh. 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 Sanitized. Uh, duh. I need to do number four. Okay, number two. Oh my god. Ice. Number three. I fucked it up. Damn it. The medium diet. Oh my god, how many things? This is the worst one. Because there's so many dishes to do. Holy crap. Da, ba, ba, ba. 